Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. I have noticed recently in light of the COVID virus and economic fallout, we have had a rise of conversations about the word freedom and what does freedom look like in our country. If you have participated in those conversations, whether they are on social media with a friend or maybe a phone call with a family member, you've probably already discovered that those conversations do not end well. Now, it's not my place today to try to help you navigate those conversations or strengthen your argument, but I would suggest to you that as followers of Jesus, at least for those of you who identify as Christians, that we understand freedom in a fundamentally different way. Let me give you an, an example from the Old Testament. When the Hebrew people were slaves in the land of Egypt, God summoned Moses to set them free. Up until that point, the Hebrew people, their allegiance, unwilling as it is, belongs to Pharaoh. They live and breathe under the reign of Pharaoh and the armies of Egypt. When God sends Moses, and of course the plagues come and the Red Sea is parted, when the Hebrew people march out of Egypt, they are set free. Now this is the important part. If we understand freedom as it is defined by the popular culture, that means that the moment that the Hebrew people walk across the dry ground, they are suddenly able to do whatever it is that they would like to do. Except that's not what freedom is in the Bible. In the Bible, when people are set free, it means they are no longer under the allegiance of any power, whether it's Pharaoh or death or fear. It is now they are under the reign of God. That means that they are free to love God and free to serve their neighbor. That's what freedom looks like throughout the Bible. You can do the Old Testament, you can do the Gospels, certainly on the letters Paul writes about do in the book of Galatians. Uh, do not let your freedom be an excuse to indulge in the flesh, essentially to do the things that you want to do, but use your freedom as an opportunity to humbly serve your neighbor. Again, Freedom for Christians is not about doing what it is that we want to do. It's about finding ways to creatively love God and serve our neighbor. So people of God, you who are free, I look forward to figuring out and hearing different ways that you are humbly and creatively loving God and serving your neighbor. Have a great day. Bye-bye.